Today I'm going to show you how to carve a smooth ring out of wax, which is then going to be cast into a silver ring. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to choose the finger that we want to make our ring for. As you can see when you try the wax on it's a little bit small. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to place our thimble on the thumb that's going to hold the wax and we're going to start carving from the inside of the wax to take away enough that our wax will fit our finger. So it's a good idea to keep trying the ring on just to make sure that it's not getting too big too quick. really nicely. I'm happy with that. So now we can move on to the next part. So now what we're going to do is get your design sheets and your wax and we're going to draw around the edge of each side of the wax here and this is going to help us to make our design. So now that I've got the outlines of my wax drawn onto the paper, I can put my own design within them and this will help because we'll have something really clear to carve around when it comes to doing the carving. So I want this design to be very symmetrical. So I'm going to cut around my main design. I'm going to fold it in half and then I'm going to cut my little design out so that I can have both sides the same. If you don't have a pair of scissors to hand, you can use the craft knife provided to do this. Now that I've got my template cut out, I'm going to place that onto my wax and I'm going to start to draw around it. Now that I've got my main outline sketched on there, I'm going to thicken the lines and make sure that I can really see them clearly. If you want to be a little bit more free with your design, you can just get your pencil and draw straight onto the wax. And if for whatever reason something goes wrong or you don't like what you've drawn onto the wax, you can take your coarse sandpaper and you can just rub that off. I would say only do this once or twice though, because you don't want to thin your wax down too much. 
going to start carving now. So if you place the thumb bone on the thumb of the hand that you're going to start carving with, and that's going to help to protect your thumb while you take the big pieces off first. And I would just take small little slithers off at a time. You don't want to try and take big chunks off because that's just going to be annoying and also there's more risk of cutting yourself that way so just to go nice and slow with this it will take a while and um, so just to sit back get yourself a cup of tea and carve away When you're happy with the overall look of your ring and you're happy with the shape, I'm going to take our coarse sandpaper and we're going to start to keep shaping the ring a little bit but also start to smooth some of those more jaggedy edges and the edges that are left by the scalpel. As well as putting it on the table, you can also pick up your sandpaper and use that to rub around the edges and sort of sculpt your ring into the shape that you want it to be. When you've got your outside looking how you want it, you can curl up your paper even more and start to do the inside of your ring. So now that we're happy with our overall shape, then we're going to go on to smoothing it a little bit more with some slightly finer sandpaper. So we'll rub this all around and we'll try and get the scratches out that we made with the rougher, coarser sandpaper. Now if you want to do the inside of your ring, what you can do is take your pencil, wrap the sandpaper around the pencil and this will make sort of like a buffing stick where you can get to the inside more easily. I find that putting this sandpaper flat on the table and rubbing the wax onto it is good as well because you can apply a little bit more pressure and it'll make your job a little bit quicker. The third sandpaper is the very fine sandpaper and this one, like the last one, is going to take away the scratches that you've just made, so the smaller scratches from the surface of the wax and get it as smooth as we can by rubbing this all over. And once you finish and you've got a lovely ring that's as smooth as you can possibly get it with your papers, we're going to take our candle and very quickly sweep the wax through the flame and you want to wait in between each time you sweep a little bit for the wax to cool down because otherwise you can really um, ruin your ring. So I've learnt this by experience so just take your time with this stage and eventually you should have a lovely smooth ring. So now we're going to do our final sweep through the flame and 
we have our finished ring nice and smooth and ready for casting. <laughs>